Okay, we're over the Great Pyramids of Egypt. This is Mars today, and today I'm starting out with Google Earth instead of Google Mars, because I want to show you what ancient ruins look like from above, because we're the new age, we're the, we're the aerial archaeologists, and we got to know what to look for. These are Mayan ruins, minus the foliage in the trees, the ruins on Mars might look something like this, but they weren't dug out by archaeologists yet. So they're, they have a they have a coat of sand across them, and they're filled up with sand and dirt. But this is what they'd look like if they were cleaned up and everything. But we need to look at these ancient ruins on Earth. That way, we'll have a good idea of what ancient ruins on Mars look like. And they don't look very impressive. You're not going to see big faces and statues and huge monuments. You might if you're lucky. But it's just going to be little geometric shapes that you can barely see because we're way up on satellite. And here is a satellite glitch is what I think it is. It's a, a glitch in the photography. But a lot of people say that these are cities. This is on Mars Google and I found it. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it looks like a city down below, but it, to me it looks like computer, computer language, computer data. But you know, it could be something there, I don't know, but it don't look, to me it looks like a glitch. And it's deceiving and people get the idea that there's a big giant cities up there and it's not. We gotta look at it realistically. Mars is pretty much in, uninhabitable as far as they know. Unless somebody's living underground that we don't know about, which is possible. Uh, but this to me looks like computer data because it has the straight edge on one side of it, like a square. And it's just perfectly straight. I don't, I don't think that it's a city. But here's what ancient ruins might look like and it's not very impressive. See these little squares, they're buried in the sand. You can see the tops of the walls sticking up if these are ruins. But this is what ruins would, would look like because I've looked at ruins on Earth. I didn't include them in this video, but I've looked at ruins in Peru and I've looked at the pictures on the Peruvian mountains. And you have to go way down to get to them. They say you can see them from space, but I have to zoom down to see them. And I may include them in one video, but this is what ruins might look like if these are ruins on Mars, this is what they'll look like. They're not going to be cleaned up and dusted off by archaeologists yet. They're going to be buried in, in thousands and thousands and thousands of years of dirt and sand. But we're the new generation and we're the aerial archaeologists and we got to know what to look for. And the next generation of uh, Google archaeologists or armchair or whatever you want to call them, these kids growing up now, they're going to have real high definition pictures on their Google Mars because it's going to update and improve. And maybe we can get a clearer picture of, of possible past life on Mars. And you see here, and these look like buildings buried in the sand. It's not a real impressive picture. You don't see the Mars face or anything like that, but you can clearly tell. And this one kind of this one to me is the most impressive on Mars that I found. And it's at 43 degrees north, at 85 west, and it looks like ruins. And here's a bullseye that I found. I just wanted to throw that in there. A little round, perfectly round circle with a ball in the middle, a symbol of the sun and the solar system. And here's a little tower I found. You can clearly see that it's pointed and it has a pointed shadow. 
And that's the end. Thank you for joining me this week. This is Mars Today.